Welcome to the preview of episode of the electricity system series. Like always, my tutorials will work in single player and multiplayer. Now what we have over here is we can place down a bunch of electricity consumers and electricity generators. Now at this point my electricity generator generates 100 units and each light pole consumes 10. So we are at 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100 and the lights go out because we ran out of power. Now we are also able to have multiple networks. They are working separately from one another. So we don't have to worry about that. We can use different generators for different locations and let's say if we want to keep on powering this one up and we don't want to connect it to that network over there which has plenty enough of power it still has 60 units of power we can just place down another generator and connect it anywhere within the cable network that we have over here and yeah we can leave the server we can join late uh things are getting done the power um mechanics when it comes to toggling the machines on or off in this case our light poles uh gets done on rep notify so whenever somebody is going to join late they're going to get informed about the fact that hey this machine is working and this machine is generating power and please do turn it on or off depending on whether we have plenty enough of power or not now for the building system um we didn't do a lot but we'll get to that information in a second first let me just show you what we're going to create very simple we have a game instance with a single function that gets the uh power manager or creates it if we don't have one in the level just yet um there needs to be a single power manager inside of the level if you have a game instance of your own you can just have that function in that game instance uh we have a enumerator which tells us whether we have the actor is electric generator consumer pole you can expand on that one also we have a interface with three functions returning power component returning cable attachment point and toggling machines on and off two structures some info for the connections of the um uh, in this case this one this one is an array within within an array that's why i made a structure of power component arrays because we're going to need that one to have separate different networks so they can work um separately from one another and then here is the actual um power structure which has the other actor that it is connected to its power component the cable that's used to connect those two and an attachment point let's see what we got we have two components we have a building component super basic um you can use pretty much any building component you don't necessarily need to use this one but you do need what you do need is the logic over here this is the logic that you will need this is the one that builds the cables. Now, this one that you see right now is for multiplayer, but we are making this for single player as well. And uh, we have six videos to make this system. And the seventh video is the one where we replicate stuff for the multiplayer. Um, and so here is the cable building logic. So this is the thing that you will need inside of your building system. Not a lot. Um, pretty basic to be honest it's not too complicated uh, but well you'll get to that once we get in the series that far here is a power component add find remove toggle machines register networks unregister from networks again super simple i've tried to keep this as simple as possible uh, it doesn't have a lot of features yet but if you have suggestions that you want me to see that you want me to add to this system Feel free to leave the information in the comments feel free to join my discord and let me know about the ideas that you would like me to introduce to this system because for base series we have seven videos but just like with all my videos we're going to probably make more and do even more features on this uh, whole thing um few actors we have a power master that then has the electric pole as a child generators power consumers as children and then we have two individuals which is the power cable which doesn't have any logic whatsoever it is just a visual representation of a connection the actual connection data gets handled by the power components and then we have a power manager now this one's a smart one because it has a lot of functions in it a lot of maths a lot of going through um a lot of going through things it has networks queues clusters so that the um so it doesn't everything doesn't happen instantaneously but rather so it goes through like the cues and calculations and everything on a nice timely matter 
and therefore doesn't get any issues. Uh, this system doesn't have any event ticks. It doesn't work on event ticks. It works on updating the information, whether we do changes to the network or not. That is the determining factor whether the code gets ran or not. If we don't touch the system, it just functions and it works. If we touch the system, then it does a recalculation and decides whether we have plenty enough of power or not. So with these series, I've, I've tried my best to make a complicated system simple. Um, left out a lot of things. We don't have any switches or anything like that. We probably will add those. I would assume somebody is going to leave a suggestion like that at some point. But just know, this is a complicated complicated system. Electricity is a complicated thing. I've done my best to make it as simple as possible, but if you are a beginner, you might struggle a little bit with this. Obviously, we have a Discord down in the description. Feel free to join, ask questions, but just make sure if you ask questions, give us as much detail as possible. It is very hard. Let's say you're a mechanic and somebody comes to you and they're like, hey, my car is broken. We're like, okay, cool. And what's broken with it, right? So I need as much data as possible. I need screenshots. I need videos. I need explanations. I need a lot of stuff, right? So if you're just going to ask me, hey, my system doesn't work. Sorry, I'm not going to be really able to help you. Um, also, if you are okay with sharing your project with me, I am. Uh, I have a ticket system on my Discord where you can submit your projects and then I can go debug them and make the fixes for you and make a tutorial on how I fixed it and how I found the issue. Also, this will work if you have different systems that you would like me to connect to. Let's say maybe there's like a free uh, asset pack or free system on Marketplace. If I'm, if I'm able to get that, then I'm able to connect those systems and make a tutorial for you. If you have your own system, well, if you want me to make a tutorial for you, I can do that, but you will need to be able to share it with me and you should be okay with me showing your system to YouTube. That's how I, that's, that's what I'm here for. I'm here to make YouTube videos. If you are not able to, if in that case, if you want me to connect systems and you're not able to share the systems with me, sorry, I'm not really going to be able to help you. Uh, but for the most part, it shouldn't be too difficult to connect this system to pretty much anything whatsoever. So that is pretty much it. Uh, I see you guys within within an hour with the first episode. I'm just going to upload it straight away so you can guys get started. And on Patreon, all the videos, all the base series, seven videos are already on there. So you can go and watch those over there. If not... Every Monday, there's going to be a new video for seven weeks until we run out of videos. And then we're going to continue with the additional features uh, outside of the base series themselves. So see you guys.